Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, it's 618. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota on your Thursday morning. A much cooler Thursday than most of us would expect for this time of year. Yeah, really chilly out there. In fact, uh, lots of 40s this wow. morning. A lot of folks probably Crazy. heading to work with some light jackets out there. Take a look at the Almanac for today. This is for Minot. Now we've got a high today of 78. So the temperatures won't be so bad later today. In fact, uh, you know, we're a little warmer than yesterday. 83 is the average high and uh, 104 is that record. Here's the Bismarck Almanac. 79 will be what our high is today and 86 is the average. So, you know, we're just slightly below average. Still very seasonable out there, but plan your day around sunshine. Temperatures back into the 70s and the 80s. Here's the average hour by hour. It is going to be pretty comfortable out there because it's going to be pretty dry and sunny and very light winds. Temperatures out the door this morning are chilly. 43 in Rugby right now, 51 in Hedinger, 47 in Garrison. Stanley, you're at 46 degrees and 51 in Ashley this morning. Wind speeds are mostly from the north off towards the east and from the south and the west, and in some cases just non-existent on the map. High pressure is our dominant feature, which is why we have those wind directions the way they are, and they're going to play a role on the temperatures later today as well. Where we've got the more northerly winds, we're pulling in some cooler temperatures. We're really allowing for the temperatures to stay in the 70s. Off towards the west, well, you got that what we call warm air advection when you have the southerly winds. That's why you're going to be in the 80s in Dickinson and into Beach. Also into Williston there hitting the low 80s. Now today we've got a break from any rain chances and we've got sunshine, very light wind speeds, and it's pretty quiet. Later on tonight, mostly after midnight, we've got a chance for rain and storms, and this begins our pretty active forecast for the next several days. And so we'll carry a chance for some rain and storms into tomorrow afternoon that could be strong to severe anywhere in the west here and this particular model has a lot of these storms forming in the south but we do have a chance that they could form uh, anywhere and basically from 83 Minot and Bismarck and west any of these storms could become strong to severe and so we're going to carry that chance for some rain and storms into early Saturday morning but it's late afternoon through Friday evening that we've got the chance for severe storms already a marginal and a slight risk at this point all the ingredients are there, so we'll be watching for some large hail, which will be one of the main problems, and some strong winds. Highs tomorrow are going to be in the 80s, and so you kind of combine that with the uh, dew points in the 60s, and that's going to be enough for some uh, fuel for some severe storms. Here's the Dickinson three-day forecast. We've got some 80s for uh, not just today, but tomorrow and into Saturday. Slight chance for some rain and storms on Saturday. Here's the forecast for Williston. Uh, once again, back into the 80s over the next several days, but back to the upper 70s on Saturday. Slight cool down for the weekend for many of us, and you can see that on our seven day for Minot. Back to the mid 70s on Sunday, rather chilly for August standards into next week. A cool air influence will bring our highs down to the low 70s, if not around 70 on Tuesday. I've got some models that keep us only in the 60s on Tuesday, so as we get closer, We'll be able to hone that forecast in, but you can see those trends will remain cool. Here's the Bismarck seven day forecast back to the 80s for a few days, and then we keep it uh, mostly in the mid 70s there for a good part of next week. All right. Well, cool, but uh, kind of maybe pleasant and enjoy this while we can until crisp. we get. Yeah, crisp. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Amber. And keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still to come. We are in the Magic City to hear about all the opportunities that are available inside the